Why is it that marriages of old were doing well? Look at the vows they were making. I, Hosanna, take you as my wife. In sickness and in health, in poverty and in riches, for better, for worse, till death do us apart. Look at the vows. So we, they, it, the vow has the strongest terms in sickness and in health. Nothing is still doing us apart. Nothing is separating us. There are, some of us don't believe in, in divorce. We don't. Me, I don't believe in divorce of any kind. Even in adultery, when there is true repentance, go on with your wife, go on with your husband. Marriage is for a lifetime. I don't believe in getting married again when your spouse is still alive, except on the ground of adultery. I don't believe that because your dreams are no longer fit together. If you are tired and you are pulling out, please remain single for the rest of your life. It's not biblical. God said he hates divorce. God hates divorce. But why is it that a lot of people are divorcing today? Even among Christians and pastors and bishops. <laughs> uh, what is the foundation of the marriage? How was the foundation laid? How was it laid? I was watching a video of a, a young man and a lady getting married. And the man of God was saying, in sickness and in health. The lady said, in health and in health. For better, for worse. The lady said, for better, for best. <laughs> so if things get worse, you go on your own. I know what I used to do, and I still do it today. When I see women who stand fervently by their husbands, I appreciate them. Last month, my former church member lost a husband. And I appreciated her. I said, thank you very much for setting an example for this young generation who give up on their marriage when there is sickness and the man can't satisfy them, can't sleep with them. They start cheating. When there is problem, they start misbehaving. They don't take care of the man anymore. Marriage is in sickness and in health for better, for worse. For richer, for poorer, till death do us apart. So all those young people, uh, what you are entering is a business contract. Well, if you can no longer bring your own quota because of sickness, then a business close. But that's not what marriage is. There are some animals that are faithful for the rest of their lives. They don't have any other partner. They are so faithful. But humans, many of us, have become so unfaithful. Some men, when their wives get pregnant and they can no longer sleep with their wives, they look outside. When their wives travel or they are separated by distance, they look outside. And they can justify it. They have reasons to justify it. Those who don't understand marriage should go into marriage because it causes a lot of confusion for the society. The society is in a mess today because of divorce. Divorce is a weapon the devil is using.